we are playing the new Emilio um, Enchantress character in League of Legends. This is gonna go on my main channel for my YouTube channel. However, I'm not gonna be putting any more League of Legends and I have not been putting League of Legends on my main channel. I have been posting League of Legends for the past few weeks on my third channel. For, for those that don't know, I have a third YouTube channel. Go in the description box below. I have Teamfight Tactics, I have League of Legends. That's where all my League of Legends stuff is going. This is a, only a one-time thing that I'm putting Milio on my main channel, but I'm not gonna be putting League of Legends on my main channel. So if you want more League of Legends content and you've missed out on some of the League, League, League of Legends content in the past few weeks, go into the description box below and follow me on my third channel. Anyways, very shortly, like speed running through the abilities, it's very simple. It's kind of like set, like very like simple lines, like nothing, no big essays or whatever, like affiliates or whatever. The passive, if my abilities hit an ally, they do extra damage, kind of like Nami passive. His Q is like Karma Q with, mixed with Misfortune bouncing and it knocks back, it knocks back. His W gives extra attack range to his allies and the AOE healing. His Q, um, E is just a Karma shield but has two charges but has really bad ratios but that's because his healing from his W and his ultimate is really good. I don't know why Dekano part this way, he's like baiting me. Either path this way, path this way, make a choice. And his ultimate is the cleanse, a Kiriko cleanse from Overwatch. Um, so AoE cleansing and healing. That's about it. Oh wow, that skin. Wow, that karma skin is Gorgina. Anyways, so the, the Q is a lock on thing. By the way, my runes are just like standard AoE stuff, so I'm not like going anything. Oh, this ping is just atrocious. So you can see that my Q knocks back, like it's only at the first person it hits. Um, I was gonna say. Yeah, I'm gonna just stand in and just airy stuff. I'm most likely gonna just go airy as well. I'm not really gonna go, um, I'm not gonna go anything special because at the end of the day, this is just an enchantress and there's only so much you can do. So I'm just gonna use a W to get that healing. So my W follows the person that's I think I'm gonna recast my dub for it to like follow a different person, but whoever's in that thing gets extra attack range and it's percentage based, so at the moment it's 10%. Oh. That karma skin is Gorgina. Oh my god. Like, hello, that might be my most favorite skin. Like, actually, like, I love Dawnbringer so much, but that actually might be my most favorite skin. And I haven't even played it. Do you see how the Q kind of like curves to the um, Akshan? So it's like kind of like misfortune. I don't really know the range of it. Like it doesn't really show properly. But you kind of have to um, kind of have to get them when they're CSing. Otherwise, they can just move out and dodge it. An ally has been slain. Oh, lovely. I the action. Unfortunately, I can't outpoke this karma with my ping. Also, with the passive, it's actually kind of like Lulu's passive. So when you proc it, it will proc Frostfang along with your auto attack. So Lulu can get forty gold from her Frost. With Frostfang, just by auto-attacking, same with Milio if you use your E. The action is low mana, but that... That girl is full, that karma. Let's try and punish him. The W is a long cooldown. Oh! I... Hello. Ah, uh, no flash, I see. It's fine. Um, I found my man, unfortunately. Hi. Yeah, Sashima. Let's just go back. Aw, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Lovely. Um, okay. I'm just gonna go 
Okay, battle glass against poke lanes. I've said it a billion times. Battle glass into poke lanes. Can I jump into aggressive lanes? If you don't know the reason why, can you always watch over my order leak videos? Just anyone, I'm sure I've probably explained it. Um, I think my cooldown for W is a bit too long for Shirelia to be that effective. So that's why I think Moonstone would probably be your best bet. And Mandate is whatever, honestly. Probably not that amazing. I get away. That kind of skin is just go giant. Um, as my as for my thoughts on the character itself, I'm actually um. It's nice that this character is simple, because I, I have one of simple characters, like old school League of Legends. I hate like essays, I, I hate reading essays for um, abilities, like it's just like, why? Why do we need all this stuff? All this fluff? Um, I was disappointed that this was a, a point and click Shilda, because like, do we really need another point and click Shilda? Like, I don't think we do. Hold on. I think we can win. Oh my god. I missed. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed. I thought she was sidestep back. And I wasn't- I can't remember if she had flash or not. Um, anyways. What was I saying? Um, I was disappointed that he was a point and click shooter. Because- how many more point and click shooters do we really need in this game? Like, if they're gonna make it another enchantress, like, could they not make the shielding aspect more interesting? His other abilities are interesting, like the Q and the W and all. Like, it is. Oh, he better not come for me. It's like. Oh, get him. I I missed my Q. Are you kidding me? And I think I might have just accidentally shielded Dekano. I should have self-casted. Oh, this ping. I should have been able to just stop the Xin Zhao dash. Anyways, um, I like the other aspect of him because he's, he's very simple to get. Like, he's very easy to understand, very easy to pick up. I wouldn't say he's hard to master at all. There's nothing much to master about him. Um, but it's... And he doesn't seem like useless. Like he still he still feels like pretty decent into like whatever team comp and with whatever team comp. So it's like easy to understand and there is like skill expression in his Q mostly. If anything, it's just his Q and his ultimate. There's nothing much with going on with his W and his E. Um though I just like decided to take that CS. <laughs> um but yeah, there isn't like a really like a hard to master aspect to him. Like with Janna, she's pre very she's pretty simple to pick up, but she's harder to master because Janna's very reliant on like um, stopping dashes. She's a displacement she's a displacement champion. So she's very reliant on timing and execution. Milio does have that with his Q, but it's only one ability, and his ultimate. Honestly, timing how to cleanse is not hard. <laughs> so it's like... I don't really think his ultimate is like that... Um, difficult to... Thing, but that's all good. Oh. I don't know if I accidentally missed my... Ultimate. On Desarian. I'm just gonna ward. Not that there is a drunk like that, it's dead. I'm just gonna um, die at this girl and miss my Q because I am lagging my pain. I, um, I mean, I don't think twice. I, I don't think Dekano needed to tank the turret for that long, but he probably forgot about the minions or something. 
Uh, I'm just gonna go back because Akshan can do like whatever he does with his invis stuff. Okay, let's just get a moonstone. Okay, this seems like a better game than last game, so we'll probably just use this game, thank god. Better to be safe than sorry with the commentating. Um, but yeah, honestly, as cool as this new champion is, it's like, it's kind of like whatever to me. Maybe it's because I've just played so much in Chan, just it, and just like the legend in general, like, it doesn't like seem like wow. Like, it, these are like very like basic mechanics from like other champions, right? It's just like kind of like whatever to me. Oh. Hold on. Thank you. I, I don't know how the other people are, are feeling about this character, but it's like it's cute. It's chill. I would like them to make it uh, harder in Chantress though. I don't know- I don't really know what's up with League of Legends not making it like, okay, very complicated, like, hard, um, skill expressive in Chantress. And it doesn't have to be essay type of, like, abilities. I just mean, like, execution, like, wh why don't we have, like, something that's hard? Like, I would really love, like, a white main from Hots or something. Hi, Kirsi. Yeah, like, I don't- I don't know why. I don't know why they... Yeah, I stopped his dash, lovely. Can I, why can't I shield? What? Huh? Wait. Why can't I shield? Fight, girl. Fight! Go in, girl! Uh, he waited too long. There's no reason for him to wait in that, like, he, he instantly kills Xin Zhao if he just, like, gets, like, the sleep and just a Q and, like, ult or whatever. And then the other two, like, not that- they're non-existent. And I've Moonstone. But, like, I got baited in, and I took too much damage when he decided to go in, but like, back up. Anyways. Um... Yes, I'll play a TV, TFT Revly. I, I was on a train of thought or something. I forgot what I was gonna- Oh yeah, I don't know what, what is up with League of Legends or right, like, just not making, like, a complicated... Well, not complicated, but like, hard to execute in Chantress. I, I, why, why is it like these like point and click in charges Like why can't they make something? Yeah. Why can't they just shake up the system a bit? Like I, I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe I just wasn't in range for the Zeri the last time I shielded it, or tried to shield her. I, I, I don't know. Okay. I, I think the lovely thing about his passive as well is that it really- it procs, um, Moonstone. So, in a fight, you can probably get extra Moonstone procs, even if you're not using your abilities. Cause like, maybe the lingering effect of the passive from someone that hasn't used it just yet. Uh, Deals that extra AD and magic damage over 1.5 seconds. Right. So I guess you can you should line up your Q to hit your allies. But like I feel like that's not really practical, so it's better for your W E and Alt to do that. Yumi's a hard enchantress. Um <laughs> I don't know if you're trolling me. I can hide behind a minion. Ow. 
You know, um, I feel like that Karma skin's a bit pay to win. Because I can't see her ultimate properly. I can't see her like ultimate Q against the green floor. So I don't know if it's just like pay to win. How did she skinny that? That looked like she should have hit. How did she skinny that? Okay, let's dive this girl. Um, Crazy Cards misplayed there really big there. What Crazy Cards should have done, the Lux, is he should have stand over there. There is no way Karma can escape at all. He Crazy Cards just needs to stand here whilst we destroy the turret here. And then that Karma is instantly dead. There is no way that Karma can escape. But because Crazy Card decided to waste his Q, which he shouldn't have bothered queuing, he should have just saved his abilities and waited for us and used his E to slow. And then he decided to hit a ward over here for no reason. Um, that that gave the cam a chance to like escape, and he didn't even bother to cut her off because he wasted his abilities before. So it's like that something that the Lux could have done better. Um, let me get hmm, what should I get here? I feel like they might have AFK. I hope not, but it looks like they're really still might have AFK. Um. Well, considering if, if, if he AFK, then, you know, this team might benefit from some AP stuff of flowing water. And then we can get a Ardent Sensor maybe for the Gwen and Zeri later. Yeah, I think the Aesol is gone now. Maybe a Rage Quit or something. Can't wait for Ryan to get my money. No, that Karma skin might be my most favorite. Honestly, like I love Thornbringer so much, but I think that Karma skin might be my most favorite. But it's a bit, pay yeah. I can't, I can't with my color blindness. I can't see. Hmm. Um. Hmm. That's very unfortunate with the surrenders and the AFKs. I don't really want to. Um play another Milia game. I, I don't want to go through laning phase again. Like, I do want to see Milia's late game and all, but I don't really want to play through the early game again, which is quite annoying. So I'll probably just um make this one video, it's 17 minutes, which is <laughs> very annoying. Um, We'll play some more Milia, like another day or something. I just want to get this video out and done and just like my initial impressions on Milio. Um, but yeah, that is, that's his kit. I think it's pretty simple, it's pretty cool. Um, easy to pick up for new players and whatever. Um, not exactly anything amazingly special and wow about his kit, but maybe that will go to another future Enchantress and I'm hoping Ryan makes another fun Enchantress in the future that is like interesting and not easy. But anyways, this is again going on my main channel for League of Legends, but League of Legends is not going to go on my main channel, or well, has not been on my main channel for a while now. I have been posting League of Legends on my third channel, so if you want to see more League of Legends and you've missed out on some League of Legends, go to my description box below and follow me on my League of Legends channel. That is where my League of Legends stuff is going to go, not on my main channel. Anyways, comment, like, and subscribe.